When the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Pass was initially announced, I had three ideas for videos. The first one was breaking down the tracks, the second one was talking about what tracks I want to see in the rest of the pass, and the third one, and arguably most exciting, is this one. What does this mean for the future of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? It's clear 8 Deluxe is the game Nintendo wants to push for the Mario Kart franchise going forward. And even though I believe 8 Deluxe was the best Mario Kart game even before this booster pass, there are certain parts of it that definitely could be improved, namely the character roster. So in this video, I want to give you my ideas of new characters, 25 in fact, that I want to see added, plus an interesting entire new system that I really haven't seen anyone talk about, but in my opinion is actually likely to happen. I'm Thomas from the Switch Stop, and this is the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Character Boost Pass. Alright, this is probably the worst Photoshop, not just I've made, but anyone has ever made, but it doesn't really matter what it looks like, it's more the ideas that count. So starting it off on the top, we have Birdo, Nabbit, Hammer Bros, Monty Mole, and King bob -omb. These are five Mario enemies that I really do think should be in the game. I mean, it's kind of weird to think Birdo isn't. However, these characters are all in Mario Kart Tour, which in my opinion makes them way more likely. This will be a common theme throughout this video, but Mario Kart Tour characters, in my opinion, probably will be ported over. I mean, they're clearly just porting over courses from Mario Kart Tour, and it's clearly taking them, let's just say, minimal effort. So why not port over the characters that already have models? stats, animations, voice lines, and everything else required to literally copy paste them into the game. I mean, there's already mods of people modding in these Mario Kart Tour characters into the game and they work flawlessly. Out of these five, King bob -omb would definitely be the coolest in my opinion. He was in Mario Golf Super Rush and guess what? They used Mario Kart Tour's voice lines in that game. So hey man, it definitely could happen. Next, I have what I've nicknamed the DK Row. Donkey Kong Country, if you will. <laughs> I'll see myself out. Diddy Kong, Dixie Kong, and Funky Kong are DK's best pals. They're in nearly every game that the giant ape is in, and they are also obviously in Mario Kart Tour. So again, it would be super easy to port them over. Funky Kong in particular obviously has a huge history with the Mario Kart franchise being in Mario Kart Wii. So, I mean, this like people would buy the pass for Funky Kong alone. You can't tell me that's not true. Next, we have Donkey Kong Jr. This is the ultimate Mario Kart game, and this would be a fun throwback to where it all started, as Donkey Kong Jr. was kind of the oddball character in Super Mario Kart. Donkey Kong wasn't in that game, Donkey Kong Jr. was. And let me say it, he was in Mario Kart Tour. Next we have Cranky Kong. I mean, you can't have Diddy, Funky, and Dixie without Cranky. That kind of rounds out the Tropical Freeze trio, or I guess quartet. It's just not a trio at all. But I mean, you can't have those three without the other. Like, it's just, it's required. Next we have Peachette. She was actually in Mario Kart Tour at launch. She's kind of just a reskin of Peach. And to be honest, I don't really care for Peachette because of, uh, well, let's just move on from that. Up next we have Kamek and Charge and Chuck. Both of these characters are in Mario Kart Tour. And in my opinion, they're kind of that upper echelon of Mario enemies. They're in most of the games and they're super cool but they don't get a lot of representation outside of those games tell me this wouldn't be cool you can't i mean it would be sick next up we have two oddballs wiggler and queen honeybee both of these characters were in Mario Kart 7, and in my opinion, it would just be cool to have them. All right, these next characters are all the coolest ones in my opinion. First, we have the Mario Odyssey duo of Cappy and Pauline. I really cannot believe they didn't put Pauline in this game, and Cappy would be a no-brainer. He is the star of Mario Odyssey. He's everyone's favorite, I guess, mechanic from that game, but he's also a cool character. Gotta see him in this game. Next, we have Pom Pom and Boom Boom, the two characters who are kind of function as the mini bosses for most of Super Mario 3D World. I mean, that's why I like them, but obviously they're in a lot of other games, you know, Regardless of that, Pom Pom was actually in Super Mario Party. So yeah, tell me that wouldn't be cool. You can't, it would. This one's a shout out to my boy PJ who loves Super Mario Sunshine. PD Piranha, that would be so sick. Last but not least, this row is Nintendo characters. Originally, I was gonna do a whole roster of Nintendo characters, but I put out a community poll, and it turns out a lot of you guys don't want Nintendo characters in the game. I kinda understand that. I mean, it is Mario Kart after all, but in my opinion, these five Nintendo characters would fit perfectly. First, we have Fox McCloud, aka Star Fox, literally known for racing and going fast. He fits perfectly. Next, we have Olimar. I don't know, I just think this dude racing would be hilarious. Next, we have Captain Falcon. Out of all the characters in this roster, Captain Falcon is the one who should be in the most. There are two F-Zero tracks, literally the Blue Falcon, his his iconic vehicle is in the game, but he is not. What the hell, Nintendo? Up next, we have Samus, with Metroid seemingly having a resurgence, with Metroid Prime 4 potentially being announced soon, and Metroid Dread, you know, smashing through everyone's expectations. Samus would be awesome. And last but not least, Kirby. Kirby, this is kind of just a throwback to the original Smash 4 Rosalina announcement trailer where Kirby was kind of racing with the Mario Kart crew. He also had uh, Kirby's Air Ride, which was a super, super cool game, which only came out on the GameCube and definitely needs to be ported. I mean, Kirby's Air Ride is awesome. So these are the 25 characters. And if you would want to see this, like the video right now. But more importantly, comment down below how much you would pay for this. I'm curious how big of a... Uh, 
I, I guess, audience there is for this sort of thing. I know I would buy it, presuming it's no more than $25. I would totally buy this because, I mean, the booster course pass is $25, and obviously that's way more effort than 25 characters. On top of that, most of these characters are already made. They're just in Mario Kart Tour, so I would, I would love this. This would be awesome. However, in my opinion, the coolest idea I'm going to present to you guys in this video is this one right here. What if instead of adding in new characters, they featured costumes for the pre-existing characters. This way, Nintendo wouldn't have to make new animations or even port over the animations from Tor. It's a simple model swap. And Tor, one of the reasons I stopped playing it is because there are so many dang costumes. But in Mario Kart Tour, costume characters are treated as new characters, which means it's basically impossible for a free-to-play player or even a gold pass player to keep up with, you know, getting all the characters competitive or at least getting all of them at all because there's just so many of them. It's not feasible. But they do add in a lot of cool variants. Some of the coolest ways we've ever seen these Mario characters are, in my opinion, in Mario Kart Tour. Let's take a look at Mario here. He's the one I mocked up this thing for. First, we have Musician Mario, Santa Mario, and Hakama Mario. Now, I'm not entirely sure about Hakama Mario, but at least for Musician Mario and Santa Mario, that's literally already existing in Mario Odyssey. Nintendo ported over Breath of the Wild's Link model as a Link alternate costume. So they're clearly okay with porting in other models from Switch games. Clearly, they're also okay with porting in other models from mobile games, but you know. So these two would literally be so easy. On top of that, we have Frozen Mario, Racing Mario, Scuba Mario. I think he's called Scuba Mario, even though clearly that is not a scuba tank that is a snorkel and then the two coolest in my opinion sunshine mario obviously taking inspiration from super mario sunshine and 8-bit mario now these are just the mario character swaps but in my opinion there's so many other cool ones obviously metal mario and pink gold peach could just have you know different colors of the chrome or the metal that they use metal mario already has a gold metal mario swap which you get for i think a hundred percenting the game or maybe not a hundred percenting but at least getting three stars on all of the available cc levels then you got characters like inkling and i believe Vill Villager, who already have different models and different costumes, not to mention Yoshi or Shy Guy, who quite literally have the already required nine alternates. Those were added in as bonuses for buying the original Mario Kart 8 DLC all the way back on the Wii U in I believe 2014 or 2015, so why are they not adding more? Well, in my opinion, I honestly think they will. I think once Nintendo sees how many people are still interested in this game, how many sales this new booster pass, you know, gets, they will come out with a character booster pass. I think it's all but inevitable. Whether it's brand new characters like I showed earlier, or in my opinion, the honestly almost cooler alternates for pre-existing characters. Weird to say that's cooler because, you know, the new characters would be so sick, but I, I would like a mix of the two to be honest. Regardless, either of this would be so cool. They already have all the assets required. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I just think this is a perfect idea. It's one, you know, it, it seems almost too obvious and now that nintendo has shown they're sticking with eight deluxe for the foreseeable future in my opinion this is honestly probably more likely to happen than it isn't but let me know what you guys think down below i've probably said that 50 times in this video but i'm honestly just curious is it just me who gets excited about this or are you guys excited as well would you guys buy this what's the price you would buy it at and what's the character you guys want to see most whether it's a costume a brand new mario character or hell even a nintendo character would you guys want to cop this? If you made it this far into the video, I can only assume that you enjoyed watching it. Hit the like button. But if you want to help us out even more, check out our podcast channel, Nintendo Tonight. Even if you don't like podcasts, we upload highly edited segments that are basically just like these switched off videos, but with more banter and funny memes in them. There will be a Mario Kart specific one linked on screen right now if you still enjoyed wanting to hear me talk about Mario Kart. Thanks, guys.